Well, Maxime, it's a pleasure to have you here. I can see that you have two quite able hands, but in your career, you've also made quite a specialty of just using your left hand. Can you tell me what's so fascinating about the left hand repertoire for the piano? Uh, yes, but um, uh, 10 years ago, uh, I have discovered the concerto for the left hand of Ravel, a very famous piece for this repertory, and a lot of pianists uh, play this piece. Uh, but uh, I was uh, fascinated by this, um, this uh, concept uh, and uh, I, I have decided to, to see on internet uh, the, the rest of the repertory and I have discovered uh, 600 pieces for the left hand and just one, uh, two or three discs, uh, two, uh, two or three recordings uh, of uh, this uh, repertory and I have decided to propose to my uh, label music Advitam Records to, to record uh, the first anthology in the world uh, of uh, this repertory and uh, it's very unique and original it's a big big pleasure for me uh, to, to, to give to the audience uh, a new works. You've uh, made a remarkable transcription. The, the piece that Ravel wrote initially for the, as a concerto for piano and orchestra for the left hand, you've done a solo piano version of that, which means you have to incorporate the orchestra parts <laughs> as well. Uh, that must be incredibly challenging. Right. From the beginning of my project uh, of recording the repertory for the left hand, uh, I have thought it's a good idea to, to propose uh, the piece, the most famous of the repertory for the left hand. And it was uh, this concerto. And uh, I, I have had the, the idea to, to do this transcription uh, because uh, it's very um, spectacular, very intensive. It's uh, necessary to have a lot of energy. And uh, with the left hand, I play the part of the orchestra and the part of the solist. Uh, and it's a super position. And uh, I play this piece uh, tomorrow for the Frenchman. And um, yes, it's uh, incredible because it's uh, 20 minutes of, uh, of energy, of uh, enthusiasm, of uh, uh, very spectacular and virtuosistic music. And uh, the, the, the audience uh, like it. And uh, uh, to, to finish uh, the concert is really a good idea. Now, I noticed in your program for the French May, which is yeah. tomorrow evening at the Academy for Performing Arts Recital Hall, that you've included music for two hands, more conventional or traditional uh, pianist, uh, classical piano fare, with the repertoire for the left hand. Is that something you normally do, to combine these two? I think it's a very good idea, a very good concept to mix uh, the, the repertory for the both hands and the repertory for the left hand, because like this, the audience discover a new piece, but I think it's uh, very pleasant to to, to listen uh, the most famous uh, pieces of the classical repertory. And uh, I think it's a good, good concept, um, and it's my, uh, it's my way. This special uh, specialty that you have with music for the left hand isn't your only unique aspect as a, as a musician. You're, you're quite an eclectic and versatile uh, person, including directing musical theater, orchestrating for uh, music yeah. for television, that sort of thing. Uh, what has led you in that direction? Because that seems rather unusual for a classical pianist mm. to do that. Uh, I like a lot of uh, style of music. Uh, when I was young, uh, I have lis listened a lot of, of style of pop song, of musical, of uh, film music. And uh, for example, at the end of my concert, uh, I play very often uh, a piece of uh, film music or a famous song and um, the audience uh, like it and uh, me too and so uh, I, um, I, I write a transcription uh, for the piano and uh, it's, um, it's um, very pleasant to, 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 to give uh, this gift uh, to the audience. You've mentioned transcription and uh, like following the footsteps of the great Franz Liszt and many other people before you, you've, you've done quite a bit of transcription yourself and some composing as well. Mm. Um, what has that process been like and mm. do you plan to do more of it? The, uh, with the piano, it's possible to, to do uh, a lot of things. It's possible to accompany, it's possible to, to play solist, it's possible to play a uh, pop song, classical music, and it's possible uh, with the, the concept of transcription, it's possible to, uh, to play uh, uh, opera, uh, a song of uh, uh, of uh, operette and uh, it's very very rich and uh, I, I think it's a um, very good idea to uh, to, to, to play 
the, the piece uh, from the other instrument, but uh, with the piano, and uh, the piano can uh, do this, and uh, it's uh, fabulous. Can you uh, please tell us about the music you'd like to play for us here in the studio? Yeah, uh, I play the Vals d'Adel. It's a theme of a list, uh, um, and uh, it's a um, very romantic piece, very virtuosistic, uh, and uh, of the century past. And uh, I think it's uh, um, very representative of this repertory, uh, very rich and uh, intensive. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for your welcome. Thank you.